Indirect Measurement Lesson 9.2 We can compare the lengths of two objects indirectly by using a third object. We can compare the lengths of three objects and put them in order. Shortest to longest, we have some clues. Clue 1 says a blue line is shorter than a red line. Clue 2 tells us the red line is shorter than a green line. And clue 3 tells us the blue line is shorter than the green line. We can draw the lines using the clues. A blue line is shorter than a red line. So we can draw a blue line. We know it's going to be shorter than the red one, so we're not going to make it very long. We can make it stop right there. It needs to be shorter than a red line, so we're going to make the red line a little bit longer so the blue one is shorter. Now the blue one is shorter than the red one. It tells us the red line is shorter than a green line. We can draw the green line. The red line needs to be shorter, so we're going to make the green line longer than the red line, so the red line is shorter. The clues helped us compare the lengths by telling us which one was shorter or longer. Now we can check it and see if it's true. A blue line is shorter than a red line. Yes, it is. The red line is shorter than the green line. And the blue line is shorter than the green line. They're all true. We did it correctly. We can use the clues and write shorter or longer to complete the sentence, then draw to prove our answer. The first clue, clue one, says a blue crayon is longer than a red crayon. Clue two says a red crayon is longer than a green crayon. We need to draw the crayons to find out if they're shorter or longer, and we need to fill in shorter or longer in the sentence to make it true. A blue crayon is longer than a red crayon. So we can make a blue crayon and we can make it longer than a red crayon. We'll draw the red crayon. We'll make sure the blue one is longer. Then it tells us the red crayon is longer than the green crayon. We need to draw the green crayon, but the red crayon has to be longer. The red crayon is going to be longer than this green one. Did we do it correctly? A blue crayon is longer than a red crayon? Yes. The red crayon is longer than the green crayon? Yes. So the blue crayon is blank than the green crayon. Is the blue crayon longer or shorter than the green crayon? Do you know? The blue crayon is longer. It's sticking out farther, isn't it? The blue crayon is longer. than the green crayon. Here we have another one. Clue one says a pink line is shorter than a blue line. Clue two says a blue line is shorter than an orange line. We can draw the lines and we can fill in the blank shorter or longer. A pink line is shorter than a blue line. So we can draw the pink line. We know it's going to be shorter than the blue line, so we're not going to make it very long. 
the blue line is shorter than an orange line. Well, the pink line is shorter than the blue one, so we need to make it so that the blue one is a little bit longer, so the pink one is shorter. Now it says the blue line is shorter than an orange line. Well, if this blue one is shorter than the orange one, then the orange one needs to stick out farther, doesn't it? We need to make the orange one longer. So the pink line is blank than the orange line. Is the pink line shorter or longer than the orange line? The pink line is shorter than the orange line. We followed the clues and we made the sentence true. Let's try another one. Clue one. We have a rope, a ribbon, a chain, and a string. It says the rope is longer than the ribbon. The ribbon is longer than the chain. The ribbon and string are the same length. Draw the lengths of the objects next to their labels. The rope is longer than the ribbon is the first clue. So let's make the rope longer than the ribbon. Here's the rope, and we'll make this the ribbon so that the rope is longer than the ribbon. It says the ribbon is longer than the chain. So we need to make this ribbon longer than the chain. So the chain will be about right there, wouldn't it? So the ribbon can be longer. It says the ribbon and string are the same length. We need to make the ribbon and the string the same length. So here's the ribbon. We need to make the string the same length as the ribbon. See how they stop at the same place? We followed the clues and we filled in the chart with the correct lengths of the objects next to their labels. Is the first line shorter than the second line? Choose yes or no. Is this pink line shorter than the green line? It doesn't stick out as far as the green one, does it? So yes, it is shorter. Is this pink one shorter than the green one? They're very close together in length. They're almost the same length, but the pink one is still shorter. It doesn't stick out as far. So yes, the first line is shorter. Now, is the first line shorter than the second line? Now the first line is sticking out here and the second line is back here. So no, the first line is not shorter than the second line. How about here? Is the first line shorter than the second line? They're the same length, aren't they? So it's not shorter. That's a no. It's not shorter if it's the same length. Our next lesson is going to be using non-standard lengths to measure. That's lesson 9.3. You can find things around the house, your toys and other things in your kitchen or just anything around your house and you can compare which ones are shorter and which ones are longer. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.